take this man away. This does not involve him. Yang Ching. And so, everyone is present. I never thought the High Cloud Quintet would be able to gather again in the same place after hundreds of years. If I remember correctly, the five of us made a promise here seven centuries ago. We promised that no matter what happened, we would gather here together and share a drink. How sad that Scale Gorge Waterscape remains empty while the world continues to turn. Some of us have been reborn, while others were denied death. Some have become criminals, while others can no longer fulfill their promises. And in the end, our friendship is no more. Soon, I will be shackled and tried. This will be the last you see of me. This is why I sent out the invitations before departing, hoping that everyone would be gathered here for my final farewell. Of five people, three must pay a price. In Bibiter Lune, the chief culprit, chose to use the Transmutation Arcanum as a means of resurrection, begetting terrible transformation and great calamity in the process. He dishonored the name of the Fallen. Ying Sing, the accomplice, arrogant and oblivious, used the flesh of the Abundance Emanator to assist in Bibiter Lune in his evil. He fell, becoming an immortal abomination. As for Jing Liu, the sinner, she succumbed to Mara, slaughtered her people, and abandoned her oath. Now it is time we pay for what we have done. Don Hung, you can never escape the shadow of Envibitor Lune. He is your origin, and his sins will accompany you in your path forward until you meet your eventual doom. Blade, what a fitting name. In the remainder of your infinite life, you will experience only murder and your own death, all the while pleading for a place to rest. This is the only way you are able to relinquish Ying Sing's regrets. And I will face the punishment of the Alliance and suffer an eternal punishment before paying an even worse price. That is the only way to keep the memory of the pain of the past from fading away. High Cloud Quintet, it is time to say goodbye. Mindless gathering, accompanied by only sadness and bitterness. <sighs> what a depressing reunion. Jing Yuan, is it not time you sent me to the Shuling? The laws of the Alliance cannot be subject to change. Unfortunately, your next stop will be the Yu Chu. I reported everything to the Marshal. And the Seer strategist just so happened to take an interest in the case. 
They set up a Deca-like reflection barrier in hopes of meeting the two of you beforehand. Jing Yuan, you haven't changed at all. Always trying to destroy the plans of others. But in the end, whether it be you, me, the Cloud Knights, or the Generals of the Rainbow Arbiter, we are all just pawns in a game of the gods. I am sick and tired of treading on a predetermined path. No matter, I will deviate if you insist. But this does not change how things will end. Ultimately, I will stand on the side of victory. Then I shall see this gamble through. Wait! Jing Liu, before you leave, you still owe me my due. I have tried. Besides inflicting more wounds on your body, there is nothing else I can do for you. The immortality that you possess is not something that can be dealt with so easily. I am sure Destiny's slave already told you that the swords of mortals are incapable of killing someone with the flesh of an emanator. He did. But you still owe me the attempt. I told you when I taught you the way of the sword. I am uninterested in drawing my blade against someone who does not long for life, who wants only to be slaughtered. You will only draw against an opponent. Jing Liu, allow me to repay you for your teachings. Savor the moment. I will deliver you a brief moment of death. We were here once, 700 years ago. <laughs> Laughing, sparring, and thinking about the future. <laughs> Their faces still linger before my eyes, like a bygone dream. I thought those joyful days could flow indefinitely before us, like a Sienjo lifetime. Yet, dreams. will eventually fade like clouds from the sky. A familiar feeling. Almost as if we've returned to my first sword lesson. You use the sword in Sing crafted and pierced, sliced, and impaled me time and time again. The swordplay used to slay our enemies of old is still engraved on this despicable shell. All I can do is watch my flesh become severed, healed, and restored. It's as if they're saying, Why? Why did you and Imbibiter Lune commit such an unforgivable sin? I know that you have no interest in my answer. Which is why I asked the question as you looked me straight in the eye. I've asked myself that same question infinite times, but was never able to find the answer. Why? Why is it that only the abominations can return time and time again? Why does someone like her 
have to be buried, burned to ash, and eventually forgotten. Why? In the end, you unleashed the final piercing blow and left both me and the sword in the withered grave. The miraculous thing is that in my brief moment of death, all the pain went away. Like when we drank to drown our sorrows. Bitter Lune, what do you plan on doing next? Once this gathering ends, I will return to the Express to continue my journey. The Express won't be able to carry you forever. Your friends all have burdens of their own, just as we did back then. I did think about giving up on revenge and letting go of everything when I fled the Lawfu years ago. However, as time passed, it became more and more clear. It was like an old friend that accompanied me every passing day, always nagging in my ear. The memories of what I did when I was Mara struck are deeply rooted. Since I am unable to rid myself of them, I decided to face them head on in the end. Maybe when I witness the fall of the abundance, you and Ying Sing will find true release. Goodbye, Imbibitor Lune. <sighs> She's gone. All this must have seemed like a silly performance to someone newly reborn. But I am unable to prevent my old friends from taking sides against one another. Who you are is a question that only you can find the answer to. Even if the Preceptor's interference denied you a true rebirth. Yes. It has been a long day for you, Don Hong. Dan Hung, the General wants me to forget about everything I saw today. I understand. These disputes are far too complicated for me right now. Swordplay is a lot simpler. I have some close friends of my own in the Cloud Knights. Will we fall out the way you guys did? Goodbye for now, Dan Hung. I hope. The next time we meet, it'll be under happier circumstances. She couldn't do it with her sword either. She still couldn't do it. We have no choice but to continue the pursuit. This is the price the two of us must pay. Neither of us can end the other's life. Just give up. 
Elio's script still requires you to stay alive. For now. I don't mind prolonging my vengeance. It might be... more interesting that way. Thank you.